Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for joining me today on my journey. If this is the first time that you are here, or the second, or the third, or you watched all of my videos, I am so thankful that you have decided to watch this one. From the bottom of my heart, it means so much to have you here. I am working so hard to grow this community. Whether you are a teacher joining me or you are one of my handbag lovers, I am so thankful that you are here with me today. On today's video, I am going to talk about some of the things that I bought while I was out on vacation. I did do a little bit of damage, but I also do want to talk about some of the things that I let go of. So if you're interested in knowing the items that I let go of to purchase some other stuff, please stay tuned until Thursday's video because I will be talking about that and what I am expecting. So I did say that I was trying really hard to shop a lot less and I am sticking to that, but this is back to school time. So for us teachers and for us parents, that means shopping and getting ready for the new school year. So I did do that. We also went to Disneyland. I am going to go ahead and link that video up here. I did vlog for the very first time in my life. So I bought a couple of things here. I actually did keep that to a minimum. I talked about it. I think I discussed it in the video. But what I like to do is I like to set a budget uh, through a gift card. So I buy a gift card ahead of time and then that is our budget for the day and we don't go over. So I did that. That includes food and everything like that. We do tend to go to Disney a couple of times a year. I am not a pass holder, but I do actually love going once in a while since I am local and my, my kids are still at that age that they enjoy it. So it makes amazing, it makes for an amazing family time. So I did enjoy that trip. We do have passes to Knott's uh, Berry Farm. And for that one, last time I went, I spent no money. So nothing. Parking was taken care of. Uh, we had food passes. I think I spent $17 actually on some snacks. So it is something that we enjoy to do as a family. And uh, so theme parks are a big thing here in Southern California. They're all over the place. So I do want to show you what I picked up from there. I also went on vacation uh, to a resort. We go there every single year with my in-laws. And on the way to the resort, there are the luxury outlets that I love going to. So I did stop by there. And I think if you've been watching, you should know what I picked up. There was something that was just tugging at me. And I knew that if I found it at the outlets, I would be getting one. So we will discuss that one at the end. So Again, thank you so much for being here. If you like that kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. As I'm recording this video, I just reached 1400. I'm working really hard to get to 1600 before the, ne uh, the end of the year. That will be my next giveaway. I just finished a giveaway, just shipped the first cup up. The second winner hasn't gotten back to me. So I am gonna go ahead and tag that person in this video as well. And that will be their last chance to get back to me so that I can ship that cup up or I will pull a second winner. So the first winner already got back to me and that cup is on the way. The second winner we are still waiting for, that is the pink Stanley cup um, that you saw in that video. So I'll go ahead and link that here too that uh, giveaway video if you are interested in watching that. And I'm so excited to do the next one. That giveaway was super duper fun. Okay, let's stop all this chatting. It's been like four minutes of me just blah, blah, blah. And let's dig right into what I got during vacation. So first things first, I ordered this on Amazon. I did purchase it while I was at the hotel. So I'm counting it because I'm showing you everything that I bought. So while I was at the hotel, um, at the resort, I did pick up some work pants <laughs> from Amazon. So you can see the thing here. They're just, they're like leggings, but at the same time, they are pants. I like picking these up um, when I can because they are so comfortable. And again, if you've been watching me, you know that I work from home. So I don't do a lot of going out uh, to work where I need nice pants. So I do have nice shirts that I wear for life class, but usually I'm in my PJs or maybe some shorts, right? I'm comfortable because I'm at home and nobody can see that. But, and definitely always wearing Crocs. But on the rare occasion, a couple times a year, we do all get together. 
I have to look a little bit more put together because showing up in my PJs is probably not a good look. So I like to buy these. So I still want to be comfortable. Um, and this is what they look like. These are a size eight, I believe. Um, I like them because they are stretchy, right? But they are 100%, they look like uh, work pants. So I like this specific one. I will link it down below if you are interested. The reason why I like this brand um, on Amazon, not only are they fairly inexpensive, but they also have different sizes in length, right? So I am only 5'2", so I am pretty short. And I have a hard time finding pants that don't, like, that are not super long because I don't like to wear heels. I want to be comfortable again, so I do wear flats. And it's hard to find pants that fit. And these have three different um, lengths um, on Amazon. So I love those. Um, I picked up those and I picked them up in blue as well. I ordered the blue ones first, not on vacation. Tried them on. That's why they're not in this video. Love the way that they fit. So I picked up the black ones as well. So that's the first thing that I got. Also on Amazon, if you've been watching me along, you know that I have a huge love for bum bags. So I love wearing belt bags. I wear them across. They're super comfortable. You've seen the black one with all the pins. You've seen my Louis Vuitton one. You've seen the pink one. So I, I have a variety from all kinds of price ranges. Um, during Amazon Prime, this one showed up. I did not buy it and I regret it. I did end up paying a couple more dollars because I went outside of Prime, but I couldn't get it out of my head. And for less than $20, knowing that I already love it, I just had to pick it up. So it's this bum bag here. It's like the Lululemon. I did compare it to my Lululemon. It's the same size and everything. I just haven't taken it out, but it's this awesome pink that I've just been so into all summer. Um, I figured this would be a great pop of color when I'm out and about at back to school. Look at how bright that is on the camera. Oh my goodness, it's like iridescent. My nails are, are orange and you can just see how much more pink this is. So I love it. It does have a little logo here. Uh, obviously, it's not the Lululemon logo because it's not Lululemon, but it does feel just like the Lululemon. The strap is like that as well. Let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh, the inside also has the mesh thing like the Lululemon one does and on both sides. So lots of compartments if you're into that kind of thing and that back zipper that I love to stick my phone in when I don't have it overly stuffed. I love the inside color. Zipper is super smooth. Um, obviously, I didn't know that because I just opened it. But I do, I love it. I uh, highly recommend, they have it in all kinds of colors. You save, um, I think in, at Lululemon, they're $30. So you're saving at least 10 bucks. Um, when you go through an Amazon brand, you just don't get the Lululemon branding. Um, I didn't find this color in Lululemon anyway. So yeah, I just had to pick this one up. I love it, super bright. I can't wait to wear it. I already know they work for me. They are my favorite type of bag. Um, so I just, I, I couldn't pass it up when something doesn't leave my brain. Um, and it wasn't like a giant splurge. I just really, really wanted to go into that. All right. Next up is what I got at Disneyland. So there's a couple of things from Disneyland that I've already used. I will post a picture of one of them here. Um, I couldn't wait. I opened it and I threw it on my purse. I got some charms uh, for my purse and that one was the first one to open. And then I also got um, a pen, which I'll show you. I got a matching one, one for me, one for my daughter. Um, so mine's for back to school and so is hers. So let's see, where do I start? I wanted to find that pen. Where is it? This one. All right. So item number one, it's the super cute Minnie Mouse pen. It has this little cute thing. It looks like a disco ball. Um, and it just has polka dots. So super cute. Me and my daughter got matching ones. She uses these because she likes to get the autographs. And her autograph pen was running out of ink. She's had that autograph pen since like 2021. She's been collecting autographs in her autograph book every time we've gone. Um, and we did see a couple of new characters this time around. Um, I think you saw, if you watch the video, the um, 
the vlog, you saw her meeting a couple of characters. She was so excited. Um, she met, um, who, who did she meet for the first time? Miguel from Coco. That was the first time. And Rapunzel, which is her all-time favorite princess. Uh, she met her at this trip. Those were the two that she's met for the first time. The other ones, we saw a lot of them who she'd met before, but she still goes and gets their autograph again. So we had a ton, a ton of fun, and we got matching pens. So that's that one. I'm going to wear this one for, I'm going to use this one for work. I can't wait. Then I got this Marie. I got this little Marie. It's a charm. I am a charm lover. I know that charms aren't for everyone, but I am. I love it. Uh, and I do have a story and a reason why I picked up Marie. Um, so I'll get into it. I hope I don't get teary eyed. I, uh, I'll try to just kind of talk about it. But my grandma, whose birthday just passed, she would have been 99 years old on August 5th. Um, and then right around that time is when we went to uh, Disneyland and I was there with my son and my daughter. My son, um, when he was born, my grandma, who lived in Argentina, came over here and helped me. Um, I was a single mom at the time and she really helped me just kind of become a mother. Um, she was there for me every step of the way, uh, even though she was already past 80. Uh, she was just this monumental force. And uh, we used to like taking her to Disneyland. She loved it. And one year, my sisters and I got her some custom ears on Instagram. I wish the girl was still around. I don't remember uh, her name or anything, but I know she took her page down. Uh, but she used to make custom ears. And we got her these Marie ears. And they were all fluffy and white. And they matched her hair perfectly because she had this like, awesome white hair uh, so they matched her hair perfectly she loved them she was so into them and um, we were at California Adventure and my son uh, convinced her to go on this like bullet thing that spins around and she was so excited to go but a little scared uh, and as soon as she went on that thing just takes off and her ears flew off Bloop. so they flew off and they landed on um, the water that's around there. There's like this little lake thing there. Um, so needless to say, the ears are gone. And she was kind of bummed, right? Obviously, the, these were a present. She really liked them. They looked so good. But the employees at Disneyland were so kind. And they brought her these just regular Minnie Mouse ears um, from the store to replace them since they couldn't get hers back. And they gave them to her for free. Uh, even though we hadn't bought the other ones at the park, they still uh, did that for her. And she was just over the moon at how nice everyone was. And she couldn't believe how they let her keep the ears without pain. And she's just, it's the way that she lit up. And my all-time favorite picture of her, she's wearing the ears, whether they'd be the marine, the marine ones or the regular ones after. They're both from the same day. And I just love looking at her smile. There's a bunch of smiles with her and Pluto just like waving. Uh, and it just takes me back to that day. Although I don't really watch the Aristocats movie where Marie comes from. Um, I just, I, it just seeing her takes me back uh, to that day to my grandma being around. And I can't wait to just throw her on one of the bags and just kind of have my grandma a little bit closer. Uh, I hope that makes sense. But yeah, anything that uh, triggers a memory for me um, is something that I want to keep with me because I just I like thinking about her. Right. I think about her all the time. Um, I don't really need reminders, but any reminder that's there really just uh, it brings a smile to my face. So keeps her memory alive. So that's my Marie. And that's why I got that one. Uh, long story. But yeah, so that's one of the charms. Then I got another charm. I've been very into them. Um, you know, there's that whole trend with the charms going along. Um, I got this one. It, it oh, This one. It's the grape soda charm from Up. This one also has a story of what, why I got it. It's a lot shorter story. But Up was the very first movie that I watched with my son, who will be 18 next year. This was the first movie that he watched in theaters with me. Uh, I just remember us two sitting down watching the movie and then him being just totally heartbroken 
when Kevin the bird goes away with her babies. I just remember we like had to leave the theater at that time. We didn't get to finish the movie just those few last minutes because he was just so distraught um, over Kevin. He's always been an animal lover. And same thing, right? This takes me back to when he was little. He's just about ready to be an adult. And right, that tugs, that tugs at your heartstrings and just as a mom, right, I'm ready to see him fly. But at the same time, oh my God, time has flown. Um, so yeah, this will keep that memory alive every time I see it. It's super cute and it's purple, pink and purple, my favorite colors. Um, and bonus, it's a bottle opener. <laughs> will I use it as a bottle opener? Probably never. It's kind of, it has kind of some weight to it. But if you're ever in a pinch and happen to be wearing this one on my purse, you can always use this bottle opener. <laughs> so that's that one. And let's see, I think I'm almost done. Because again, I didn't pick up a lot of things. It's just a bunch of charms. And that's it. I don't remember if my daughter got anything else. I don't think so. But if she did, she kept it. She did snap quite a bit. And we ate. And I got this one. So this is a Baymax uh, coin purse. It's also It also could be a charm. I don't intend to use it that way. I actually, what I want to do is... I like keeping little things like this for when I do um, little giveaways for my students. So I, I'll probably just keep that one. I just, I don't know. I liked it a lot. <laughs> I love uh, Baymax too. Fa la 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 la. So just this one. That's the last one. No story on this one. I just like it. All right. So that's it. This is a receipt for something. What's this receipt? Oh, from all those pieces. All right. That's what I got at Disneyland. Okay. The big one. I can't wait to open this. I haven't opened it since I picked it up. You're going to see it's all wrapped up. So again, if you know, you know. <laughs> I don't even want to. <laughs> um, it's another Do Me Too bag. So if you saw my video for one and not done, you know that I'm not done with this brand. There are actually three bags that I still want and I got one of them. Yeah. It was not top of my list. Top of my list was not available. Second on that list was not available. So this one was, and it just so happened to be the last one they had in stock. So at first I didn't grab it, I left. Um, and I was like, I need to think about it. This wasn't my first pick. I'm trying not to shop so much, even though I had just sold some things over to Candy. Um, I just, you know, I, I really wanted to think on it, but I ended up going back. Um, I was there with my niece and her boyfriend and I just had to go back. So it is another bum bag. I'll give that away as I'm opening it. I really, really wanted the black one. That's the one that I wanted, but it was sold out. It's gone. They don't have it anymore. Same with the pink one, gone. They don't have it anymore. I already um, have the pink one. So I got the white one. Oh my goodness, this year. Oh my goodness. I don't have a lot of white. I am terrified of white. But this was heavily discounted. It was even cheaper than my pink one by now. If you watch that video of me talking about my pink one, um, you would see, I don't, I don't have the receipt. But you would see that I had gone that one on discount and this one wasn't. This one wasn't on sale like the other ones. Although the price point was still really good. It was like 300 something. But like I think it has the price on here, does it? The original price? Oh, no, it doesn't. Mm, yeah, it doesn't have it. But um, it was like 50% off. And then they had like an additional sale. I don't know, but I paid uh, just, I, I don't remember if it's just over 200 or just under 200, but it was cheaper than the pink one. And I just, I had to have it. Again, bum bags, they just work for me. How cute is this? I mean, here's my, this is my only other Lux like white bag that I have. I love it. There, this one's even wider than that one. That's a cream color. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to have it. I am really excited to have it. Um, definitely not as excited as I was over the pink one, uh, but the pink one was my first one, right? And I knew that that was like it. And it really opened up my eyes to just how great quality Jimmy Choo is. Um, I will be wearing this for back to school uh, for sure. So back to school, um, the bum bags are for me because I take a big backpack with all my stuff. 
um, for this whole week that we work in person. So I like to take something like this for my personal items. So these are going to be my two bags, depending on what I'm wearing. Uh, maybe I'll wear my black one too, or my Louis one. Uh, but it's definitely going to be a bum bag type of trip because I will have, I need, I need something where I can be hands free. Uh, if we go out to like lunch or something in the middle of the day or, or to grab a coffee or when we're walking around um, that hotel, it's a big hotel. We have a lot of rooms. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. That's this week. So you're watching this on Tuesday. That's actually my first day back. So by the time you're watching this, I will be wearing one of these at back to school. So super, super excited. And again, if um, you want to stick around on Thursday, I will be talking about the bags that I let go of and what I am expecting to get. So again, I am trying really hard to let go of things I don't use. I did share my spreadsheet and all of that. Um, also, I have a couple things to talk about um, that I've changed. I did see that my goal of getting down to like, 50, I think it was 15 or 10, I don't remember, uh, the price per wear that I wanted. It's kind of impossible when you have so many bags and I'm not just gonna go and get rid of everything. Uh, I just wanna see that I'm using them. So I am going to slightly change that goal uh, because it just, you know, my math, my math, my mathiness, my math brain, I don't even know how to say it, just starts working. And then I see, like, I get this, like, huge, like, I don't know, I don't want to call it anxiety, because it's probably not anxiety. But I, I do get these, like, jitters, uh, thinking about not getting there, right? Because I do want to continue to eventually purchase. I am a handbag lover. Um, so as long as I'm holding myself to using my items, and my spreadsheet is showing me that I am, I'm not going to be so strict on getting to a cost per wear that is so low. So I might change it to probably like 50 or so, uh, depending on the number of bags that I have. But I did add my contemporary uh, bags in there as well. One of them being my latest contemporary bag, which was this one. I got this one, uh, I think about a month and a half ago. Um, it matches my denim one. Oh my goodness, this is the bag I'm in right now. So I love it. You know, my little strawberry charm can't miss. I have my little Hermione Granger uh, time turner here. Uh, super excited. Look at how it, this sparkles. Oh my God, such a beautiful bag. Um, I have been in this one for two, three days now and um, I won't be switching out of it until I switch into one of those bum bags and I'm carrying my backpack for work. Um, so yeah, super, super excited for this one. I love it. Look at how sparkly it is. Oh my goodness. If they made a pink one, I would just die. Um, but yeah, if you've made it this far, this might be my longest video ever. Wow, I can talk. Um, but I love you for being here. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed and liked this video, what are you waiting for? Leave me a comment below. I love chatting with you guys. If you're not a teacher, but you want to stop by to one of my lives, I am there every week and I always post it on my community posts um, telling you when I'll be live. So I would love to see you there. Let, just come by, say hello. Let me know how your day is going. And thank you so much. I will see you on the next one. Bye.